Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another video. Today is day 28 of Hidden Figures, and today's hidden figure is Georgia Ann Hill Robinson, who was the first black female police officer to work for the LAPD in California, and was also the first black woman police officer in the country when she got appointed in 1916. Georgia Ann Hill was born in Opelousas, Louisiana on May 12, 1879. She never knew her parents and was raised first by an older sister, then in a Roman Catholic convent before moving to Kansas when she was 18 to work as a governess. She met and married her husband, Morgan Robinson, there, and the couple moved to Colorado and then to Los Angeles with their daughter, Marion. In Colorado, Robinson was active in fighting for women's rights, and after moving to California, she became a key organizer and office holder in the Los Angeles branch of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP. She also became involved with various community organizations, and in 1916, when the LAPD was facing a shortage of officers due to many enlisting in World War I, Robinson was recruited to leave her community work to join the LAPD as a volunteer. On July 25, 1916, at the age of 37, Georgia Ann Hill Robinson became an official volunteer for the LAPD. Three years later, on June 10, 1919, Robinson was appointed to the position of police officer, becoming the first black American policewoman at the LAPD and the first in the United States. Later, she became involved in juvenile and homicide cases investigated by the department. In her position as an investigator, Robinson discovered the need for a women's shelter in Los Angeles, and consequently she would help to establish the Sojourner Truth Home for destitute women and girls. Robinson stated that she joined the LAPD because her duty was to refer young black women to social agencies rather than arrest them, and that was one of the first attempts by the LAPD to provide services to the black community and dispel the idea that black Americans were naturally predisposed to crime. Her groundbreaking career lasted 12 years and led to her implementing civic work and sweeping changes in the LAPD by fighting against segregation and for women's welfare. However, while working in 1928, a prisoner banged her head into jail bars as she intervened in a brawl between inmates, causing a severe head injury that led to her permanently losing her eyesight. She was 49 years old. After her injury, Robinson retired living on disability, and she continued community work and activism, supporting the Sojourner Truth Shelter, continuing her involvement in the NAACP, and campaigning to desegregate schools and beaches in California. She worked closely with community leaders, including Dr. Claude Hudson, longtime president of the Los Angeles branch of the NAACP. Robinson was profiled by Ebony Magazine in 1954, and in the interview she stated, I have no regrets. I didn't need my eyes any longer. I had seen all there was to see. Georgia Ann Hill Robinson died on September 21st, 1961 in Los Angeles at the age of 82. And that's Georgia Ann Hill Robinson, a hidden figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. There will be more information and links in the description box. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Peace.